Okay, intro. Intro. I don't know where intro, I don't even know where we're going. Intro and a new video. Okay, hey, new video, don't know where we're going, don't know where we're at. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. You okay? You guys alright? What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be uh our first ride here without the RC. If you didn't catch our last video, uh Scott took a, a pretty nasty tumble. We sat down on the computer this morning. We called our uh, local dealer in, in Duncansville, PA, uh, Alpha Power Sports. They hooked us up. Um, it was about $2,000 in damage between the uh, the shock, the A-arms, the tie rod and the inner tie rod assembly stuff, um, and the front bulkhead, which is pushed back. A couple other things are tweaked. Uh, some plastic is broke, but we're not, we're not worried about the uh, cosmetic stuff we just need to get them up and running so but uh, I want to say thanks to, to Alpha for hooking us up with uh, some good deals on parts there so should have them in a few days we'll be back up and running in no time but Scott's getting ready he's gonna ride with me today um, Emma and Scott's daughter Gianna are gonna stay back here with Crystal Cooper's riding with Sherry and we got Rob and George over here um, everyone's getting ready we're gonna head out and see what we can find. Um, hope you're enjoying the series so far. I know we're having we're having a blast. Um, Scott ended up with a little bruise on his belly from the harness. Other than that, nothing. No no scratch or anything. Same with same with Gianna. So glad about that. Could have been could have been a lot worse, but we're gonna head out here. We're gonna see what we can find. I'm hoping to go up maybe check out the lookout. Um, check out a couple other little waypoints that I've I've seen on um, some maps and stuff so maybe once we get to the lookout we'll throw the drone up give you a good shot of the sky and uh, we're just gonna ride around see what we can find and see if we can get you a video or two to watch so stick around hope you enjoy the video and um, we'll see you out there Here's a nice little, uh, got some ledges in it, it's a little bit off camber. Some drop offs. Pretty good one there. And a good one right there. And a good one right there. All right, here comes Sherry. There's a lot of really cool trails here in Wellsville. All right, here comes Rob.
All right, I have no idea what if this trail even has a name, but uh, there's a huge rock right here. You can see that it's uh, just eaten out from the rain. So just this little section right here is going to be a challenge, but the real challenge is right up here. Uh, some pretty big rocks. It's a deep hole. <laughs> It's, uh, it's a doozy. So Jesse's coming up right now. Give it a go at least. We're not sure, but we're gonna check it out here. Give it a tiny bump from there. Okay, hold, hold on, Jesse. Back up like where you were. Okay. Go, go into the bank a little bit with a little bump. You got to get over a rock right here. Oh, hold, hold up. Okay. Go. Nice job, bud. Okay, hold on here a second. Do you want me to be below you or behind you? Um, or above you? Probably above me that way. All right. All right, guys, this is a really crazy spot right here. It just spun you right in and around. What's he look like back there? What she said? That this rear tire might be underneath this rock. Almost. Not quite. All right. I don't know if you want to try. I'll watch that rear tire. It's there's probably no way I'm gonna be able to back up and get squared up. You can try that too. Alright All right, guys, we're gonna hook cable. We'll we'll be back. up I got kicked sideways and was in a, in a bad spot um, Sherry back down she's gonna come up over here Rob's gonna give it a go with his 35 inch canines 72 inch machine so it'll be a good comparison on this rock if, if he makes it versus not making it so we'll see he's coming up now
to get a perspective from me being up above them. There you go, Rob. Try get your try get your driver tire up on here a little bit more. There you go. There you go. Ah. Need like another foot in that direction. You'll be good. I can't hear a word he's saying. Another foot and you're good. That's what I did. Same thing. Got Scott up there filming. We'll get another perspective. you need to get up over a what? you're just hitting a little rock you need to get up over <laughs> I think you're gonna have to reset yourself You're gonna have, have to back off and get relined up. More. I gotta get you up on this rock. If I, if I get back anymore, it's gonna stand that front tire up. My back tire's off the ground. I break the axle. Yep. Axle or diff. You were hitting a rock. All right, let me come down there. All right, so front right RCV axle. Brand new. Brand new, it's got about 25 miles on it this weekend. Hopefully it didn't mess the diff up. It actually, the stub inside the diff broke, so that's, that's kind of sketchy, but we'll see. We're gonna back them down off this spot here. You're all right. Hey, Rob. Oh, there you go. His light, his front light bar just fell off. 
I don't know if it's hanging on by wire or not, but I saw it flopping. Okay. get him back down he's gonna head back to camp um, he's gonna try to get three-wheel drive figured out I don't know if anything's up with a different on but hopefully he'll be back out here in a little bit and we're gonna head over to the uh, lookout here and see if we can't get some cool drone shots for you all right we're going down some random trail <laughs> here at Wellsville uh, heading towards the lookout I tell you guys, these trails, they're, they're pretty gnarly. Ain't that the truth. This is an awesome place. It just seems like no matter what trail you go down, there's something sketchy on it at some point.
right, we're hanging out here at the uh, little lookout area. I flew the drone. Hopefully you enjoyed the drone footage, but I just noticed that my right rear fender is missing. I still have the, uh, um, what you would call it, zip tie, Scott. Zip so it pulled it right through. <laughs> yeah, it pulled it right through the zip tie. I know, I don't know where it went. If anybody, if anybody, sees, it, if anybody sees my fender, let me know. It had to have been back in that ravine. On that on that trail that we just did a couple minutes ago. Yeah, up, I don't know where from, else it could have fallen off. We came up off that from the creek, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I have another one at home from the last time it was on its side. <laughs> I had to get another one. Now I'll have to take my yeah this this side has a a wrap on it. I'll just have to take the wrap off so it matches. Oh well, this one's somewhat holding on. It'll last. Hope you enjoyed the video up to this point. Um, I think we're gonna call this one a video here. We're gonna go out and see what else we can find. I don't want to make the videos too long, so we will. Uh, Head out to another spot, see what else we can get into. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, see him on the next one. Yes, sir. All right. Just won't see my buggy. Yeah. No. No other orange and black X3 with us. And Rob is. Uh, I know. Like we mentioned earlier in the video that that Rob has a front right axle that's broke, but I think his diff might be compromised too. So. He's gonna get a hold of us on the radio if uh, if he's coming back out, but I think he's still working on it. So. All right, we'll be over. All right, we're gonna go get some pictures. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Give us a like if you like the video and hit that subscribe button if you're not already. We really appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one.